Hey guys, welcome to the Drone Zone, and in this video I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the SEMA X8C, which in my opinion is probably one of the best beginner quadcopters you can buy. If you're looking to get into the sport of FPV racing, or just flying quadcopters, or aerial photography, then I definitely suggest a drone like this, because it's brilliant and it teaches you all the basics and how to fly, and it's relatively cheap. So this is a quick overview, let's take a look. So the controller's got a high and low rate, so you can practice flying in low rate before you get more experienced and then go up to high and start really whizzing it about. It's also got headless mode, which is a really nice feature for such a cheap quadcopter, and I'll be using that in this video. So it's taking off straight away, we can see it flies nice, and it's pretty quick off the bat. It goes up nice and high, and the range on this is about 100 meters. Uh, but to be honest, I've pushed it a little bit further than that, so I think it could be up to about 120, 130 maybe. So you'll see I've gone straight up and put it on full throttle immediately, and it's quite responsive. The lights are red and green and tell you which way the direction is pointing. And they can also be seen, even though you couldn't see it at the camera that high, uh, but they can be seen from easily 100 meters off. They're very bright. And now this is just me practicing the yaw rates, which is actually a bit of a disappointment on this quadcopter. It turns quite slowly, but the controller is pretty responsive in terms of um, angling it left and right. And you can see when you're going full throttle left or right, it's actually got quite a steep uh, angle relative to the ground as you can see here. So this is the headless mode trying it out, you're going uh, full throttle and going left and right and you'll see it's actually pretty good. It's very responsive, it moves nice and fast uh, and I'll bring it in here and you can see the lights on there quite visible. The battery life on this thing using the standard battery is probably about 8 or 9 minutes. I think I've managed to get about 10 just over uh, because you'll see in this video I've taken the camera off. And I would definitely advise doing that if you're going to want to be getting any sort of good camera quality. You can see a video on my channel of the standard camera uh, and compare it to the one that is um, uploaded on there as well from lifting a GoPro. Um, and I definitely suggest getting your own cheap sports camera and putting it on there because this drone is very good and very sturdy and quite powerful so it will easily manage it. So all in all it's a very decent starter drone if you're just getting into the hobby. It's very cheap, it's quite fast and quite sturdy actually. I've had a few crashes with this and it survived perfectly. It's big enough to lift a GoPro if you want to attach your own sports camera and yeah I definitely suggest it to anyone looking to get into drone flying. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out the camera comparisons on my channel and I'll see you later.